Hey, thanks for coming to the channel. Uh, I, I just, man, I am so frustrated. I just want to share with you some kind of stuff that I, I ran into today. I went out to test some stuff and um, pulled out some wires, you know, MAF sensor, throttle body, VAPS or something, I don't know, spark something or other. And, and I went to read codes out of my Ford F-150. I got nothing. I could not believe, it, ridiculously, it came up and it was telling me there's two codes in there. Th this two, by the way, just incidentally, is coming from an independent part of the message. Like, I don't just add up the codes and then print a number. I get the number the truck tells me, right? The ECU tells me that's how many DTCs there are, and then I get the codes. So what happened today is I get, I get two codes, and then it says, oh, code's not found. Everything's great. Have a nice day. You know, it's like, what the hell? I know a couple weeks ago I made a video like, oh, look at me. I'm so proud of myself. I feel like a little kid, right? Oh, I fixed the codes. Come and get my software. It's great. And, and here I am today, just the same damn thing. And it, it was because this was, has freeze frame data associated with it. You might have been wondering, how come your app doesn't do free? I'll get to the freeze frame data, like not in this version. Oh, by the way. Anything under 10 is going to have this problem. Version, sorry, I'm going quick. Anything under version 10010 is going to have this issue. If you, if you're reading codes apparently that have de, uh, the freeze frame data associated with them, my app is going to say, "Have a nice day. Get out of here. I got nothing to say about it." And that is really junk software. I don't know when my software is going to rise above the level of amateur crap. If it will, I, I'm not a YouTuber, so I, it's not even like, oh, look, I got a video. It's just, I just, oh, man, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I'm beside myself. Obviously, I fixed it, right? I fixed it. Um, and I'm, I, I, it's actually the more interesting. Okay, so fine. What am I doing? I'm just bitching and complaining. At uh, oh, thanks for coming to to my video. Appreciate you stopping by and watching and following or whatever. Shout out to Brian Yost for helping me. Yost, I'm not sure uh, how you pronounce it. You helped me out for a couple hours one day trying to get this damn thing to work with your car and vehicle. So I. Uh, he has a truck. That's why I had to change from car. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you, Brian. Um, you brought me light years ahead. And it just and that's the thing. It's like any, you know, criticism actually is helpful. It hurts and it sucks, but it's helpful because it helps me get to the problem. If there's a problem there, ignoring it like today, ignore, you know, not dealing with freeze frame data and then coming out today seeing this doesn't, I, I couldn't believe it, man. Okay, so what do, what do I have to say? My stuff wasn't working. I have a new version. Go get it. Hopefully, it'll work for you. Uh, da, 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 da. It was about freeze frame data. I'm addressing the question, where is the freeze frame data? Um, it's coming in a future version. Tell you the truth, just between you and me, don't tell anybody. I really didn't know how to get free. I don't, this is a lot of stuff you probably know. I don't know how to do. So freeze frame getting freeze, I didn't know how to do it. And I think I knew, do know how to get it a little bit better. I'm going to show you how I figured that out today. But if you, I don't know what to say. Because I was getting this too and then I was getting nothing and it was just pitiful and sad. So what I had to do is I had to just debug it. I had to verify. I could see that the data was in fact coming from the truck. Um, okay. So now what happened? So if you've been familiar with any of my stuff you know i'm writing all this software myself right this is android and i'm making it available to you guys you can have it so if just a real quick thing is this is designed to be a generic can controller a uh, piece of software f through an obd2 dongle this is designed to be your bridge to your car through can and whatever kind of weird hacking crap you want to do now the thing that i Fan, what you'll see here, okay, let me first of all just give you a very simple example. First of all, if you're a CAN device on 70F in a vehicle in the United States and Europe, you're on a broadcast address that the ECUs will listen to and consider as the diagnostic tool, right? So, um, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm putting in this PID. This is service mode 01, and I'm putting in a PID 9, which I think is the. Oh, uh, let me put in, I know that OC is the engine speed, right? So um, I'm asking, I'm hooked up to my car, by the way. 
live through the Wi-Fi. It's outside, so I, and it's not running because I have a bunch of stuff pulled off. It's just the key is on. So I'm going to send these two bytes. Now what I did is this, I, I, I'm going to refer to Wikipedia because that makes it a lot easier to look at. Let me get this out of here. Um, engine speed OC. Right now, basically, what we are is where there's two service modes. Uh, there's, there's there's many service modes, but the ones we care about is service mode one and two. The service mode the difference is very straightforward. One is live, two is snapshots. That's it, and they both deal with the same set of data. So let me come back down here. Um, to, this is the set of data. So I remember I said OC is engine speed. Um, so in and so the first byte is 01, the second byte is any one of these PIDs in hex. So uh, coming back to the um, thing over here, 01 OC. So we're sending in service mode 01 OC, and the truck is sending back actually zero. There's no RPM because the engine's off. Um, the now, that's easy to see if I sent in like the like we could get something let me let me pull this up again like ambient temperature or something right let me uh, intake air temperature there that's a good one that's OF right so let me come back here did you see that sorry OF and intake air temperature the code is OF right so I'm gonna try that so let's come back here I'm gonna try it OF so this is going to be it's going to be a weird number uh, if it works right it should work I, okay so OF zero zero ambient air temperature is zero zero that doesn't seem right at all now does it that does not seem right. Okay, I am. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking over here to my left. I'll, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Uh, I'm looking at Wikipedia, and I'm like, why Why is this negative? Oh, because I unplugged my math. That's why. Okay, all right. Jeez Louise. Okay, because I know that that's supposed to have a value. But I unplugged the math, so now that's... And, of course, that's one of the diagnostic errors I'm getting. Oh, more, oh boy. Okay, so let me find something that's not hooked up to something that I unplugged. Uh, let me see, let me see. I'm looking for... I don't know. What, what's something? Uh, ambient air temperature is, uh, is, is not... I believe that's on a different... I'm just looking for anything, right? Absolute pressure. Okay, let's go. Fi let's go with fuel rail absolute pressure. It's 59. Uh, I, I no reason to highlight that. Anyway, I'm just looking for something that's going to give us a weird number. Uh, uh, 59. So this is the absolute. What, what was that? The fuel rail pressure. So let's send, send that in. No, 59. Come on, brother. 59. Ah, I hit that by accident. Send in. No data. Oh, my God. These people are making me cry. These people are made. 5C is engine oil. All right, now I'm just going for anything. 5C is engine oil temperature? I didn't know that was available. Okay, so everybody's making me cry. All right, so. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, 11. I know these lower values return. What's 11? I don't know what 11 is. Anyway, anyway. The thing is, is you get these values back and um, in service mode, they're live values. If you want the freeze frame data, which I didn't know, you actually have to send three bytes in. And that'll be a snapshot. But what's happening, what, what I guess what I'm showing is, is that this, um, this tool down here is turning out to be quite useful. Um, here's something. You want to see something really weird? I have no idea what I'm getting here, right? I'm reading data. Well, I'm sending data in there, so I assume it's... Well, no, I can't assume anything, but I'm sending this in. This is... What is this? I have no idea what this is. This is... Uh, basically, this is a multi-line cam response. It's eight bytes embedded in this data, but the way that it's formatted tells me that this is actually part of the protocol. So this is definitely some piece... Uh, part of the, the OBD... One of, one, of, one of these protocols, I mean. Uh, the way it's formatted, not necessarily just can. Uh, so we get the 4109 response, 
But see, 4109, which is uh, one of the fuel trims, is not the, is at three bytes with this extra byte. Remember, this is not freeze frame. This is a service mode. I don't know if this is service mode one. Because if I go over here to send in now two bytes at 0109, then there's my response. Which is what you expect if you look at the Wikipedia page. Let me just bring that back up here, 4109. Let's go down to where where's 09. Right, so I'm I'm hitting up this PID right here. Right, it's one of the long term fuel trim, right? So I'm hitting up um this fuel trim here, and all it's supposed to it's one byte. Data bytes returned, one byte. And that's exactly what I see. Okay, so let me so so for the fuel trim, I'm sending in 09 to get the fuel trim, sending one byte of data back and whatever, here's the calculation. We don't really care. We're not really worried about the actual value, just that, that it's there. But the thing is, is that when I send this in, this is exactly what's expected. So this is that PID that we just saw on Wikipedia. But if I go to this other one with three bytes and I send it in, this is, this is different data. This is not that PID. What is it? I don't know what it is. I don't know what, what that data is. Have another is right. No, I don't know what the data is, right? So, um, but I know this is freeze frame data. And that third deal here is going to be your frame, right? So if I ask for like one frame deep, I'm pretty sure it won't, yeah, it won't give me anything. So, so freeze frame data is just, it's actually three bytes instead of two, which is not really indicated on Wikipedia. You put in the same PID number and then you got to add a frame number. So that, so now I at least have a way and now I can write code to sort of read freeze frame data for these PIDs that end up with, um, you know, uh, for for these uh, uh, DTCs that I was unable to read. Now, even though my app will not give you the freeze frame data at this point with version 10, it should be able to at least read the freeze frame DTCs, which it was not able to do before. Man. All right. I'm just sharing the video, just, you know, like strumming a guitar. I'm just singing a sad song about my stuff. But, um, oh, and that can app... Uh, I'll make that available too. I, I now, geez, how do I get out of here? Close there. Get out of here. Now, if I go to the can app, actually, I updated this because now I have this monitor here, but I have this mask and this filter stuff, which is it's crazy. It's like it, now this this app is off the rails, buggy. It's not really buggy. It's just, gah, I keep hitting that. It, tchah. It's it's just it's just weird. It it's it will you know this command thing is pretty tight. I think this commander up here, the monitor. This is a little funky because like I got some artifacts like it doesn't center properly. But I'll make it available just so you have it. Like it's I I advanced the version, you know. Um, you may have some luck with this monitor. You may not have luck with this monitor. Um, you know you just hit listen and there's. Oh, let me see. I'm actually hooked up to the car. Um, let me knit. I don't, I don't know, will it hear anything? Now, actually, <clears throat> actually, I'm going to share with you. I was going to close the video out, but I'm, I'm going to share with you uh, some code. I just, uh, let me see this. This is over in my uh, codes. Let me get rid of all this stuff. Codes view model. Um, I'm just... Uh, where was I? See, I'm returning... Oh, I'm closing... It. Right, so let me do this. Uh, should I return there? I definitely don't want to close. This is the monitor. I'm working on this. I'm just showing you live me. This is how I code. This is how the coding goes. Do I want to clear that? Um, actually, no. Uh, all right, let me run it like this. Maybe I do want to clear that. All right, let me run it like this and see what happens. All right, so... Now, okay, so let me... Now I'm going to move this out of the way. So this is how I work on my code. So let me move this. Now what I'm going to do over here is I see how this says Samsung right here. I'm just going to hit start. 
Oh no, this is the wrong. I got the wrong application. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I just edited the wrong application. See, that's messed up. I just messed up. Stop. Build. No, 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 no. Stop. Cancel that build. This is completely wrong. Okay. See, all right. So I'm I'm just sharing. Check this out. This is how this is how I code, which I never really sh share. So here is the app. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete it completely off of my phone because now I don't know what's going on because I came over here because I came over here and I messed up the code, right? So let's see if I can get this thing right. And let me run this again. Now what it's doing is it's, it's all building up, oh, 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 there are deployment errors. Oh, it can't deploy, okay. It can't deploy because I am using the Wi-Fi, which is how I, I'm putting it on its uh, charger. Oh boy, all right. I normally wouldn't, sh I guess I said that already, right? All right, so I'm putting on the charger, uh, your deployment mode. Let me put you back on my normal Wi-Fi. Come on. So, okay, that's right. My Wi-Fi's name is Jam. Get on my Wi-Fi. Okay, and now I should be able to deploy, continue, don't continue, just start over. And now it's using the, actually, when I write the code, it, it, yeah, whatever. Okay, so now it's running the code. So I'm actually running the code from my, from my software over here. And, um, and come on. It takes a little longer when it's hooked up to the compiler like this. And I just want to make sure, oh, there it goes, it's sort of. It's, it's not quite as healthy looking when I'm debugging it. So, right, so, like for example, let's say I just wanted to see the response when I ask for uh, a DTC report, right? Let's, uh, let's see, this raw string data right here. Let's just take a quick gander and I'm gonna say read. Oh no, it's not hooked up to, it's not hooked up to my truck because my truck is on the Wi-Fi, all right. Let me do this. Let me just do this. Everybody stop. All right, stop. Okay. I am... Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and open my can uh, while I have this hooked up to my debugger. Because that's what I originally came in here to do. So I'm looking for my can view model, my can view model, and my communication function. Where is my communication function? Communication function is here. Ah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get rid of this return statement right there. Ah, okay, that's what I wanted to do. Let's come over here. Let me... Okay, that's gone. I did delete that thing, didn't I? All right, let's run this. I deleted the wrong damn application, didn't I? All right, so let me get this over here. Oh, what do you lost focus out of here, man? While well, that's running, I'm waiting. Oh, wait a minute, what happened? Go, 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 go. Don't tell me. You know, this thing gives me an attitude sometimes. Let me focus this up here. On my phone, and let's go. Come on, come on. Okay, so over here, it's like it found my phone and it's sort of sending stuff over, and it's like, come on, let's get going, and it's like trying to run the application, and then what'll happen is we should see the icon pop up on, yep, just like that, like magic, and then it's still kind of loading, it's loading and loading and loading, geez, okay, this kind of sometimes takes a little while, I'm in the middle of a video, I would appreciate if you would just dispense with the damn thing and let me run. 
See, this is what makes me crazy. You spend a third of your life sleeping, a third of your life looking for your freaking car keys, a third of your life waiting for the stupid code to finish, and then what's left? If you know math, you got like... Unless you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to take my point three three and hide it. What the hell? All right, so I'm trying to talk. But this, you know what? It's taking too long. It's making me, it's making me angry that it's taking me so long here. So let me just go in here, and while that stupid thing is, is okay. Oh, looks like it's coming. Looks up, up. It's, it's now i got like 10 things running at once. See, patience is a virtue, and I have like very little. Come on. What's going on here? This can is the one that's running off of my code over here. Come on. I just wanted to see you. I wanted, I wanted to see you. I wanted you to see the stupid can working. The monitor. But see, I'm having difficulties, right? Ay, 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 ay. What is the problem? Oh, God. All right. Let me see. Let me see if I can init that. Let's see. Oh, set the device. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. All right. So, actually, we are not using Bluetooth because I am talking to my. Oh. All right. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of all this stuff, man. All right, I'm about to, like, this is really getting long in the tooth, right? All right, I just wanted to show you the stupid can monitor because I know I had that stupid, re that, that this return statement stopping everything. Let me see if this will work this time. Let's say, listen. Oh, God. Set the device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm using Wi-Fi today. All right. Where's the monitor? Init. Listen. I don't see nothing on the monitor here. You made me sit around all this time and your monitor sucks. I know. What the hell happened here, man? What's going on here? Does anybody know what's going on? All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Some of you nasty people are going to say something mean. What happened to my zeros? I wanted to get rid of a zero. Add. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. All right. So we want to admit... This should tell me the ELM whatever right here. Wait. Okay. That's the problem. That's the problem. I got to get back on my OBD network because everything <laughs> making me cry. All right. Let's try one more time. Come on. See? Making me cry. Just making me cry like a little baby. Is my network hooked up? Okay. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Stop. Init. Oh, that didn't look good. Init again. <laughs> I told you it was buggy. All right. Once you get it, like, it's like, you know, back on the rails, I think it kind of gets, like, a little bit more consistent. Come on. <sighs> see, I keep getting too, uh, all right, I'll see what happens. Whoa, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so you get crazy. Let me stop. Stop. All right, so let me see. Listen. Oh, yeah, see, there's a, There's what's going on on the uh, car network, on the CAN network. This is my sniffer, man. You can have this. You shouldn't have as much trouble as I had. Uh, well, it looks... That looks okay. Looks better than I thought it was going to look. I would have expected to see more data, though. Maybe because it's off? So, the grid view is that, but, like, if you don't look at the grid, look at this crap, look at the craziness coming out of here. A buffer fall, that's what's happening. Yeah. All right, that's all right. So, if you look at the grid, it'll kind of give you addresses and data. All right, man. You see, I'm, like, this is, look, these videos, they're what they are, okay? I'm just trying, you know, I'm just showing you what I'm doing, man. I, I don't know, you know, but hey, you got the software, it's for you. It's there, it's free, you take it, grab it, whatever. But I still have more testing to do. I was hoping I could, hoping? Yes, I hoping a lot. I was hoping that I, oh, gee, see, when stuff like this happens, I was hoping, now I can't stop saying it, I was hoping that I could put my application 
on you know off of testing but it's it's clearly I need to go like a week or two without any like major problems right and I really want to do it before the end of February anyway thanks for watching and uh, forgive me if I'm a little Lulu here a little nutty on this uh, video I just uh, I don't know what's going on man I'm just trying my best all right okay thanks a lot appreciate you coming by and have a great day all right, where's the stop button?